Hello everybody. Today is a wonderful day. It's Easter day. Jesus is alive. Can you give me a great big cheer? Woohoo! Over the past few weeks, we've been seeing the wonder of Easter. And today, we're going to learn about the best part of Easter. But we're going to start with a senses challenge. I've asked Taylor and Hello, Auntie everybody. Cindy to help me with this. First, Taylor, yes, we're hop on to could you blindfold Auntie blindfold. Cindy? Auntie Cindy is going to have to work out the mystery item by using her different senses. She can touch, smell, and taste it to work out what it is. Taylor, please show our audience the mystery item before you pass it to Auntie Cindy. Auntie Cindy, what does it feel like? It's a rectangle and it's got shapes on it. What does it smell like? It smells like, but this end smells sweet. Mm, what does I it wonder. taste like? Uh, it's yummy and it's sweet. Can you guess what the mystery item is, is before taking off your blindfold? Chocolate. Auntie Cindy, mm. can you confirm with your sight yep, what the item chocolate. is? Awesome. Thank you, Taylor and Auntie Cindy, Bye, for being willing to help. Auntie Cindy was certain of what the mystery item was, even though she was blindfolded. As we use our senses, we become certain of what is in front of us. Now, I want to tell you about the first Easter day when Jesus' friends used their senses to be certain that the impossible had actually happened. Today, we're remembering when Jesus rose from the dead, his resurrection. He had been killed on a wooden cross and put in a tomb for three days. As the sun came up that morning, the ladies who went to the tomb found it empty. His body wasn't there anymore. We're going to hear about the moment when Jesus' closest friends were in a small locked room trying to understand what was happening. Was Jesus alive or dead? Where was his body? Was any of this even possible? In Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, we read what happened next. Jesus' disciples were talking about the stories they'd heard that Jesus was alive. They were confused and trying to make sense of it. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in front of them and said, Peace be with you. The disciples were frightened, thinking that Jesus was a ghost. Jesus said, Don't be afraid. And why do you still doubt that it is me? Look at my hands. Look at my feet. It is really me. Touch me. Look over me. A ghost doesn't have muscle and bone like this. They still didn't believe it was Jesus. They were too excited to believe it. And also... They just couldn't believe that a dead man was now standing in front of them. I wonder how you or I would feel. It's a totally strange situation, isn't it? Jesus was kind to them, so he said, Do you have any food here? They found him a piece of leftover fish they had cooked. He took it and ate it right before their eyes. They watched carefully because... Ghosts can't eat food. Dead people can't eat food. Magic tricks can't eat food. Only real living bodies can eat food. Jesus was alive and he had a real body. They found it hard to believe that he was alive. But now they knew for certain. They saw him. They touched him. And they saw him eat food. They were certain Jesus was alive. 
Now that they believed it, Jesus needed to explain it. And he said, everything I told you while I was with you comes down to this. All the things written about me in the law of Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms had to come true. I had to suffer. I had to die. I had to rise again. Now you have seen it. You have to tell others so that they can believe, repent, and be forgiven for their sins. Jesus was telling his disciples that God has always had a plan that Jesus would die and then come back to life. It all happened just as the Bible said it would. His disciples could be confident to go and do the last part of the plan because they knew Jesus was alive and could forgive people. Now this is the most important part. We can't touch Jesus. We can't look at his scars. We can't watch him eat fish. But we do have the Bible. And that's how we can be sure that Jesus is alive. At Children's Church last term, we were learning about God's great plan to save us. We've seen all the stories in the Old Testament of why we need Jesus and that we can expect him to come. When we get back to church, we will read the Gospels and see Jesus telling us that he knew he would die and rise again. And then we can read the rest of the New Testament and see how the apostles became Jesus' witness. They bravely went to the ends of the world just as Jesus told them to. They told others about Jesus dying and coming back to life again. They urged them to repent so that they could have their sins forgiven. We can be sure that Jesus is alive because the whole Bible tells us he is. We don't need to touch him or see him or feed him to know it's true. But one day we will see him face to face and we will get to touch his scars for ourselves. And we will be so pleased that we trusted him now. Until then, we have his spirit who helps us to tell others the Easter story so that they can also believe that Jesus is alive. Isn't that amazing? We too are part of God's mega plan for the universe. We have already seen that Jesus died. He came alive again. And now we need to be sharing Jesus with those around us. So will you tell others what you know about Jesus? That he is the king. That he died and rose again so we can be forgiven. Will you tell them that we need to change our hearts and minds? We need to stop living for me and live for Jesus. And will you tell them that we too can be forgiven? Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you for Easter. Thank you that we have more reason than everyone else to be pleased this Easter. Jesus told us he'd rise again, and he did. He was seen, heard, touched, fed, so we can be sure he is alive. Please help us to believe. Give us your spirit to make us sure. Please help us to tell others about you. Thank you that we have a risen King. Amen. <laughs>